Now, Mr. President, thank you for coming. Second time we have met here in the Oval Office. And uh, I, I, I told the President that uh, I remember distinctly his description of uh, what life was like in Uganda, particularly when it, come to, it come, comes to his raising cows. He's a cattleman. And they gave us something to talk about. And, uh, but we talked about other issues as well. I am very proud that the United States taxpayer has supported this president in his efforts uh, to deal with HIV AIDS. And Uganda is the uh, epitome of, uh, the, of how one can implement a comprehensive ABC strategy to achieve concrete and specific results for the sake of humanity. And so, Mr. President, I assure you we'll continue to support you on HIV AIDS and equally important, we'll support you on fighting malaria. Thank you. And I thank you for your determined efforts. We also talked about the benefit of trade between the United States and the continent of Africa. The President reminded me how important AGOA is uh, to promote better lives in our respective countries. And so, Mr. President, thank you for that vision. We talked about a lot of other subjects. We talked about the security in the region. The President's got good advice. He's got good judgment uh, when it comes to issues like Somalia and, and the Sudan. I assured him that we're committed to peace and stability. As a matter of fact, I informed the President today that I spoke to the Secretary General of the United Nations about Sudan and how I think it is important to continue putting the pressure on respective parties to come up with a, an agreement that will help end the genocide. And that it's important for the United Nations to get moving those troops into the Darfur region as quickly as possible. And, of course, we discussed about the, uh, the uh, peace between, uh, the agreement between South and North of Sudan and our desire is to make sure we implement that agreement. And finally, we talked about eligibility for Millennium Challenge. And I told the President this is a very important program. I hope that Congress fully funds Millennium Challenge and that we will work with uh, Uganda on our eligibility. And so, Mr. President, uh, thanks for coming. It's really good to see you again. Thank you. And I appreciate you taking time to visit with me here in the Oval Office. I thank President Bush for welcoming me here. Uh, as he told you, we are most pleased with the uh, AGOA, African Growth and Opportunity Act. This is where the United States opens their market for African value-added products or, or, or products of all other uh, types for 6,500 and, uh, and, and uh, such pro uh, products. Now, this is a very big opportunity. As you know, the United States market is a, a big market, uh, 11 trillion dollars market. Uh, the whole of the African market today is about uh, uh, half, half a trillion dollars, if it was integrated. Uh, of course, it will grow, it will grow. Uh, as the purchasing power of Africa grows, our own market will also grow. However, in the short run, exporting to the U.S. market is a very good stimulus for our economies to grow fast. So we are very, very pleased with uh, President Bush for uh, uh, sustaining this AGOA uh, uh, arrangement, uh, which has helped our economies. United, uh, Uganda is already exporting processed fish from Lake Victoria to the U.S. This is good also for the American consumers because this fish is, is very good for health. It, uh, there is very little pollution in our part of the world. So it's very good for the American people also. So I thanked him for that. I also thanked him for the Millennium Challenge account. That money will now be used to develop infrastructure in a country like Uganda. So you, you have access to big markets in Africa, in the United States, in the European Union, even China has opened 
their market partially to us. They have offered us 440 products, tariff-free, quarter-free. But you need good, good infrastructure within a country like Uganda, as well as African countries, so that you can uh, produce goods at low cost. Because you, you have got uh, low transport costs, you have got low energy costs, uh, therefore the cost of doing business are, are, are low, uh, reasonable. Therefore, you can be competitive in, in, the, in the external markets and also in the regional markets. So I thank him again for that Millennium Challenge account. I thank him for the um, malaria uh, and uh, HIV fund. Uh, that one is very, very uh, useful. We are working to get rid of the mosquito in, in Uganda. We are doing research to get rid of the mosquito larvae. Uh, and again, we have worked with the Center for Disease Control in the United States, whom he sent to us. Uh, there is a hope that we can get rid of uh, the mosquito at the larvae stage, because we have got some larvae side which can, which can kill it. Uh, of course, we also talked about security issues, uh, but most important, Agoa, Millennium Challenge Account, Malaria, and uh, HIV, as we talked about mainly. Sir, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.